Hello, welcome to this very awkward angle I'm standing at to fit in the frame. So this is gonna be a little mini Ace Mates video. This prop shouldn't take me too long to do, and this isn't one from an established um, fandom like uh, most of the more ones I do before. This is actually going to be a Christmas present for Buckethead props. So I was thinking what to do, and then I was looking at this, which is his channel logo. So looky what I've got here, a giant bucket, some random black plastic, and some of this, which is actually LED wire. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a wearable version of his own channel logo. So, the basic plan for this, so I'm gonna take the sticker off, I'm gonna remove the handle, probably get rid of the little tabs on the side here, and I'm gonna cut out eyes, and a little mouthpiece as per the drawing, so you can see out of it and it's got a little bit more detail. Paint the whole thing white, add the rest of the detail on with this black plastic rather than paint. It just gives it a little bit more depth having things on the top rather than just painted. And then having this LED strip around the inside, it just makes it look cooler. Well, I hope it makes it look cooler because I've never used this stuff before. This is just a cheap battery powered one I found on eBay, so this is really cool, it goes a bunch of different colours and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to experimenting with it. Now on the very top of this bucket it's got a little indentation that uh, says it's 15 litres and I want to get rid of that so we just got like the circles on the top. So I'm going to use some Milliput which uh, says it's suitable for metals. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Milliput just to fill in that top bit, save having to fill it and try and sand everything. And I'm going to sort of roughly draw on whereabouts this stuff's gonna go. This is my little box of uh, armor spares I've collected over the years, just random bits and bobs, and I have spare piece of helmet trim from one of my builds. So I'm going to use actual Stormtrooper helmet trim on here. Got just enough bottom helmet trim as well, just to neaten it up a little bit later. I'm not going to lie, doing that kind of scares me slightly with the amount of sparks that gives off. Don't try this at home kids. So now I've got to fill the teeth in, so what I'm going to do is get some EVA foam and on that stick some of the tool, which is like um, sort of a mesh material, so I'm going to do it behind the eyes. The EVA foam is also going to make sure that um, you know you don't catch any of the sharp bits underneath when you're wearing it, as I'll try and even out as much as I can so there's no real sharp bits to catch on. And then over the top of that add little... Uh, bits of plastic or little bits of foam and um, that will be the teeth and then what we got to do is we got to rough everything up and then finish sanding that down so it's nice and smooth then we can paint this it a sand down trying to clean up some of the imperfections I made when I uh, went over it with some of the 
sanding tools. So it's all sanded, it'll just help the paint stick to it. And I've just given it a, a wipe down with a wet cloth. I'm just going to leave it on the side to make sure it's definitely dry. And uh, leave it next to the radio so it warms it up a little bit whilst I go look for some paint. Whilst I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I've drawn out the templates for the little chin pieces and what is, if you're on a natural stormtrooper helmet, and left and right mic tip slash aerator. And I've decided I'm gonna have like the more sort of like a textured side on show rather than the more plain side, so I've flipped it over so I can uh, put the design, go over it with a permanent marker, so obviously doesn't show on the other side. Just going to cut it out and that'll be ready to glue on the helmet. So a couple of layers of paint later and we got a nice white bucket so now I can actually stick in these bits back here to cover up the eyes as well as the mouth and then with a bit of uh, polypropylene plastic which is quite close in colour to here. If I'm not happy with how it matches I can still spray it. Um, that's going to be used to make the teeth so I can stick that onto there. It's quite flexible. It's the same, pretty much the same stuff we're using for the, the black plastic. So I can glue that on there. Then glue the black detail pieces that I've cut out as well as the helmet trim. Add the lights and then maybe decide on doing a tiny bit of weathering just to give it a little bit more of a sort of bit more character to it but we'll we'll see when I've done everything whether I want to keep it clean or not. I got all the details on the bucket now, I've got the front ones, the teeth are all in. I've added a little trim on the bottom of the helmet and I've got the trim on the top of the helmet. And I thought the back looked a little bit plain so I did the two vents that you get on the Stormtroop helmet but they sit just above the uh, the rim so I made them quite small so it just fits in this gap. So just gives a little bit on the back so it's not just a big block of white. So the last thing to do now is add the lights because I quite like this just as the, the plain white. The lights are in! I didn't realise the lights actually had a self-adhesive backing so I tried to stick them in via another method and then the self-adhesive backing came off and I was like oh damn that's a lot easier. So now they're finally stuck in. No padding in there at the moment because it's got I gotta get it to fit him and not me. There's the finished helmet, lights off, 
and the lights on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick build of turning a bucket into a wearable bucket. And I hope Buckethead Props likes this as his Christmas present. And um, Merry Christmas to all you guys out there and have a Happy New Year if I don't see you before then. And I'll catch you in the next video. So as always, may the force be with you.